Namaste and welcome to our third part of the video saga related to <laughs> Namaste Good morning guys and welcome to the third part of the video saga related to stretching and warm up um, These are basic uh, warm ups that we all should do before starting any sort of workout um, so we started with the video, the first video was related to the neck, the second one to the shoulders. This one is going to be related to the shoulder blades. So um, we're going to start by keeping our arms apart. Slowly the left arm is going to come on top of the right one. Interlock and palms together. I'll repeat the motion one more time. We are in our arms in a T shape. Then slowly shift your arms up. Let the left hand come, the left elbow on top of the right elbow. Cross because you want your palms to be together facing each other and hold it. Now from here, this is what it looks like from the front side. This is what it looks like sideways. So usually the tendency, a couple of mistakes that happen is people hunching their backs. Now from here, there is no stretch that will take place. It's very important to keep back straight, abdomen contracted. It's important to bring the elbows, if they're down, you're not stretching the shoulder blades the way they should. So instead bring them slightly up so they make a 90 degree angle. Hold it. Again, don't bring your neck forward. Tuck your chin in, hold it. The stretch will be placed on the shoulder blades, trying to push apart, trying to move outwards. Hold it. Slowly release. I place myself forward so you can see me again. Again, hands in T shape, palms facing up, but this time it's the right hand that is gonna come on top of the left elbow and hold. Again, it's important, elbows placed in a 90 degree angle and hold. slowly release you can already feel the stretch on the shoulders themselves but also on the shoulder blades as they try to slide and open yes number two i'm going to use a prop it's not a very complex one it's a chair <laughs> i'm basically using my chair now in this case uh, it doesn't seem to focus it's because i moved it <sighs> okay yes there you go sorry about that guys so here the chair it's important that we place everything in alignment all right our knees are gonna be hips apart so I'll show you from here so we don't want the knees to be super open but we don't want them to be close together instead something midway as open as your hip bones all right that's what gonna look like from the front sideways we want to keep Tuckle toes. We want the knees to be on 90 degree, which means that once we bend over, it's going to be 90 degree with our knees and 90 degree between the hip side. All right. So we're going to keep our arms placed over the chair. If you want, it can be arm's length. Doesn't really matter. You can hold it. Hold it with four fingers up, the thumbs down. And slowly again, forward, 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 hold. You're going to feel how your body is going to ask you to do a small rotation of the shoulders. So your hands are going to slowly shift inwards. 
let it happen don't go against it don't fight it it's going to softly rotate in this direction hold it and chest up again alignment of the toes of the ankles the knees and the hips we're going to inhale slowly slowly forward chest down it's important that you don't drop your neck not like this but instead follow the arch line good hold it it's a very good deep stretch for the shoulder blades Slowly release, and you can feel it. You can slowly, if you feel like you have too much tension, we can like in between sessions, you can repeat this one as much as you want. In between sessions, we can do a little bit of cat and cow. So tuckle in your toes. Again, the same alignment follows. The hands should be placed as distance, uh, as separated apart as your shoulders, okay? Then from here, the middle finger should be on the same line as your forearm. There's going to be an internal rotation. So your elbows, again, is the same concept as before. The elbows, instead of bringing them out towards, they're going to come in and out. All right. This is the rotation. Hands should be shoulder apart. Middle finger on the same line as our forearm. So we're here. We're going to inhale, tuck the back toes, do an anterior tilting, yes, tilt, buttocks up, inhale, look up, exhale, toes down, chin to your chest, hunt your back, anterior, so this was posterior tilting and anterior tilting because i said it the other way around so posterior tilting anterior tilting again inhale tuckle your back toes arching your back posterior tilting of the hips look up exhale toes back bring your hips to the anterior side, anterior tilting, hand your back, shoulder blades apart, push yourself upwards with the shoulder, inhale, exhale, last round, inhale, Exhale. So for the last one, the last shoulder blade stretch, we're going to keep the same alignment that we had before. So knees are going to be hips apart, toes are going to be tackled. And we're going to slowly, keeping your hands and your arms on the same length as your shoulders, walk forward. Now the tendency people are going to have is either move to forward, Okay, can you see the angle? The angle at which my knees are, it's not 90 degrees, it's more, so not good. And another mistake, two back. It's not child's pose, so please don't go back. Keep it 90 degrees and slowly chest down. What's important here is that your chin is tuckled forward, looking up. Hold. Slowly release. Again, to soften the spine, another round of cat and cow. Couple of rounds, inhale. Then 
inhale, exhale, one last round. And slowly center. All right, guys, so this is the third part of the soft warm up. We did the head, shoulders, shoulder blades. The next video is going to be related to the hips. So if you want to do that, press the next video.